Hi hobbyists, Brennan here with Privateer Press. Our last video was all about magical and arcane glow effects. Today, we're gonna turn up the heat and add some flame to our figure. Let's get started. So I have a small dry brush, a fine studio brush, a piece of plastic art I'll be using as my palette, as well as a selection of colors that will help bring fire to life. I've got Ember Orange, Cygnus Yellow, Kador Red Highlight, and Kador Red Base. I'll start by shaking up my Ember Orange and using my dry brush to apply it. I get a good amount on my brush and use a piece of paper towel to get off most of it. I can be messy with the first coat that's applied to the miniature, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush it on. Since I'm working from such a dark primer and I need to build up a pretty bright color, this is a good, quick way to get this base coat on especially since you're allowed to be so messy, since you'll do cleanup in the later stage. And I like to be messy. You wanna to try to get off as much as possible, but still be able to push them off onto your model when you actually get to it. I also recommend not returning to the same spot that you're using the paper towel to get your paint off of just because over time it'll slowly start tearing apart the paper towel and you'll get little bits stuck in your miniature. All right, once that's dry, I'll move on to the next step. Now I'm gonna use Cygnus Yellow to apply the hottest parts of the fire. I wanna make sure it's watered down slightly so I have control over the paint. And I want to apply it thinly in light layers and just build up as necessary. Now this is your showing off where the hottest part of the fire is going to be. So you're just using your best guess and estimate. Fire is generally hottest at the center. And as it cools is when it starts to get the brighter red colors. So this step can be subtle. I don't need to overdo this layer because I'll have a few more I'm going to be applying to the model. All right, looks good. Once it's dry, I'll continue. I'm going to move on to the Kador Red Highlight. I'm going to shake it up to make sure that it flows nicely. It's properly mixed. You want to make sure it's properly thinned down so you have smooth, coverage, as well as proper control over your brush. Now this layer is very similar in color to the ember orange, but you want to make sure you don't overlap too much, because you still want all those colors to be visible for a good transition. I'm making sure I get the tips at the top, because those are going to be the coolest parts of the fire and the coolest means it's gonna be darker. I can use the edge of my brush to follow the sculpt for easier control. All right, once that's dry, I'll continue. We're gonna use Kador Red Base. And using Kador Red Base, watering it down slightly so I have good control gonna add the final touches to the fire. And this is gonna be just subtle. Really showcase how hot things can get. Just remember the darker it gets, the cooler the fire would be. So when I kind of draw the brush like this, I'm just making sure I have good coverage and get an idea of how to apply when it actually gets on the miniature, as well as I'm twisting it to a tip to make sure that I maintain good accuracy. And our paints are non-toxic, so it washes right off without any issues. Again, I'm just using the edge of my brush to really get control over the sculpt side. using my hand and fingers to 
help supply something to rest on to stabilize my movements. So I'm really happy with the way the colors are working right now. However, the difference between the Kador Red Base and the shift into the Kador Red Highlight is a little too stark for me. So I'm going to go ahead and create another step just to blend in the smoothness a little bit. So to get a smoother transition between those two colors, I'm going to go ahead and just mix them together on my palette. I'm trying to aim for about a 50-50 mix. or until whatever I get appears to look right. I'll make sure I have good control by watering it down some. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just blend it and apply it between the lines of the two colors that it was mixed from. So that's going to be the Kador Red Base and the Kador Red Highlight. That looks all right, but I'm going to go ahead and actually mix a little bit more Kato Red Highlight in for a better smooth blend. This is just trial and error, so you're just waiting until you get something you're content with. So this mix, when applied between the edges, is definitely helping make it look like a smoother transition. All right, and there we go. The tabletop fire's finished, and once the rest of the model's complete, he'll be ready for the battlefield. With our Croak Raider ignited, he's ready to take on his foes. Join us next time as we expand our toolkit with more effects and techniques to make your army stand out your way. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and check out the links below for more in this series and additional information on the P3 Hobby Line. Do you smell that? Smells like smoke. Where's the fire? Right here.